Okay, welcome back to Strike Fleet Hunter. Uh, we are continuing our weird shift of campaigns from passive to extremely aggressive. I want to try and lure a strike group into our trap in this episode and do something about it. Uh, what I would like to do right now, though, is get the Howler to fully feel which it is, and I want it to buzz Jaffa so that the enemy no longer think we're here, but their most recent um, detection of us is over here. This guy's still refueling, and I'll let him finish refueling. I'm very sad about losing the Screamer. I'm not sure what happened there. I haven't reviewed the footage, but I must have either hit the thrust or something happened, but the speed changed dramatically on that enemy fleet. Uh, do you have time to get this Vrempel before we get the fuel tanks? Probably. I'm just really keen aware that I'm very low on money, and I'm not going to be able to sell too much stuff. I'll get another 10,000 from our good friend, and then that's kind of it. Uh, let's get you out of the city as well. Let's bring you... I need an Elint bubble. So let's bring you up towards Jabok, and you can scan the Elint in this region here. Okay, and I want to make sure that you don't actually fly through Jaffa. That would be a disaster. Okay. So there's no strike fleet here, but you have an Elint 2 detection at 120. So let's... Draw. This is 120 degrees here. Okay, so let's just run along this line with this ship. We'll fight it here. The concentration right now, by the way, is pretty ridiculous. We've got a gun we can sell. Alright, let's just run along this, this line here. Nothing showing up. Still not seeing any enemies. It's really strange. We found the strike group. <laughs> Alright. Our fleet's a little bit out of range. If I check plane range, for example, we're not going to have the distance that we need, are we? We need to bring them... Actually, they are in range. They are in range. Okay, we've got a few things we need to do here before we launch any planes. First of all, I, we, we really need to... We really need to get... Hang on, hang on. Pause again, pause again, pause again. Okay, you need to get running. And yeah, I need you to run towards Shilo. Alright, I want you to do that. They're at speed 91. So I want you to do this at speed... Well, 126 to turn around so they don't run into you. Okay, and then I want you going at speed 90-something. 90 93, perfect. Now, you need to be very careful to make sure they don't catch up with you. It looks like they're going to catch up with you. So let's just speed up a little bit. To speed 115. Okay. Warning, radar emission detected. That's fine. He's picked up, I think, these guys? 60. So there's somebody up here. This is probably this strike fleet here, I'm assuming. That's 13 hours. They're not going to make it. There's something else in the region, but they should all be going for these guys now. Okay, the rest of our fleet, if, if they're picking up them, I want you to go here. Make sure you've got enough fuel to do that. The rest of the fleet has landed, is about to reach here. Not much I can do, oh, we can launch our planes. Okay, let's get some planes in the air. I want to go in with rockets, I think. Two rockets. Two rockets. Two rockets. Two bombs. Who detected the thermal signature? It looks like this fleet just detected a thermal signature. If that is the case, that means there are incoming missiles. We have incoming planes. <laughs> That's a worst case scenario. That's very bad for us. Ooh. And the fleet has no fuel, is that correct? The fleet does not have fuel to leave this area. That is very bad news. That was a scanning plane by the looks of it. 
Oh, look how many planes are in this furball. I never know whose planes are whose in these. I think my planes are the blue planes. But honestly, it, it breaks my brain trying to work out how aircraft flights happen. Oh, I forgot I could scroll over here and watch what's happening. What's happening is our one plane is just cleaning up. Good work, mate. All right, well, he's going to RTB. Uh, these guys are still screaming. Our strike group is coming in. We've got Elon one here, so we can start to narrow down the location of this fleet. Looks like they're still coming in, so they're still up here. You don't see a lot of air, air fi like fighter on fighter fights in this game. These are uh, the subsonic fighters, though, and they just they can't compete with the T7s. Do you know what? It's a waste of anti air missiles to use them on those planes. So we'll just let these guys fly off. Okay, so there's an aircraft carrier in range, but we know there was one in Zephy. This is the aircraft carrier from Zephy. I don't think they quite have the range to hit us in Shiloh. I think it's just out of their range, and I can confirm that by pausing the game again and just selecting a plane with a cannon. They are just in range. That is not cool, but I think that's their main attack. So they launched the attack at the flag here. I'm hoping they're not gonna do that again. Planes are on the way in here. Um, okay, we can finally get fueling here. Oh, this, okay, oh, wow. We're in the middle of this great battle and the prince wants to speak to us. He would like a word with us. Now, honestly, I've gone through the story in my last campaign. I'm gonna skip the story here. If you haven't seen it, it's in my previous Let's Play. Um, basically, he has one of the codas, which is the secret, the, the, the religious documents, which are actually excerpts of the Bible. And he likes, he wants us to pretend that we miss, like, we didn't read what we read of it. Because the actual translation is that it's not a particularly nice prophecy. Whereas he wants us to prophesize that we're pretty amazing. And if we do that, we get free money for him, from him. So we're going to do that. The prince loves your words. And this guy likes us. And the prince likes us. If we had more Tarkins, they don't like us, but unfortunately I haven't found any, because this has been a pretty crazy campaign so far. Right, let's uh, get some... We'll get all that, and then we'll um, maybe sell some more nukes. Uh, yeah, should we have money to get us in the air again? We can also sell these two Vampos, and we can sell this as well. I'm never going to use it. All right, let's get some fuel. This is a refueling station. No, Uchuktu is a refueling station. Then I kind of just want to get enough fuel to get to Uchuktu. We're kind, of, we're kind of playing this by the skin of our teeth right now, and I'm actually really enjoying it. All right, uh, strike groups. So that is strike group Granite. They are getting closer. Um, tactical groups. There is a tactical group somewhere up here. We don't really care about them right now. Okay. Let us continue. Okay, they are, they are actually changing directions, which is interesting. So let's just make sure we're continuing to buzz them. They they are heading for Jaffa. What we could do is from here, once we've got enough fuel, I could send my ships along with Tyrannus down south to continue this war. Okay, they're, they're coming back towards us now. Keep heading. I want you to come in a bit low over here. Big strike fleet, very big strike fleet. I wish you wouldn't miss like that. They are very slow targets. We've got a strategic missile launcher here as well. This is a pretty crazy strike fleet, to be honest. Please stop missing. It's 100 credits around. Yeah, the rockets aren't really going to do much against these guys. I wasn't expecting quite so many large ships. Oh, he hit his... I called off the strike because he launched a, a sprint, but it hit his ass. Well, they have two missiles left. I can order them back in. I'll probably not bother. To be honest, this isn't going to do a lot. This is my bombing run. They bombed the wrong target. Oh, no, they did bomb the wrong target. Right. I think I'm going to order in another two lots of bombers on this strike group.
Come on, follow me. Oh, let's put the jammer on. Let's make him a louder target. Okay. They're locked on now. Bring you over here. We should keep... Oh, see, see, see? Their speed has gone up because we've done damage to them. That's what caught us out last time. No, no, their speed hasn't gone up. Our speed is still 115. I thought their speed had gone up to 115. Yeah, they look, they look like they're wanting to head to Jaffa, not to chase our decoy, which is a bit annoying, but we'll just keep an eye on them. In the meantime, as we're refueling, I want to do a strike fleet of the Tyrannus, the Collingwood, the Rooster, and the Dzerski. Um, we should have with... Hmm. The problem here is the Collingwood. If I remove the Collingwood from the strike fleet, they can get very, very far. Uh, if I take the Patrick with us as well, we've got enough fuel to get to Jaffa, but just to Jaffa. But what I could do is get them to land here and refuel them away. Oh, I did take the Collingwood with us. I want the Collingwood to go too. Hang on, let's uh, reset this then. Okay, so we want Dzerski, Rooster, Tyrannus, Collingwood. Maximum fuel you can get here. How many Elan targets are you picking up? Just the one? No, two, so you are picking up these guys here. Okay, they're somewhere up here. They're probably coming into Haran now. Here goes my bombing run. That's okay. He just picked up these guys on his radar. I was wondering, we're trying to work out what, what it caused the game to pause there. I don't know if they meant to bomb him, but I'm happy the bombs hit somebody. I think also my, uh, these guys have landed. No. Yeah, they have. the speed right okay what I want to do is maybe I'm gonna be hit Jaffa with the whole thing I'm not sure because Jaffa's a bit dangerous we'll get these guys to refuel here and see how it's looking but yeah they're not interested in chasing us anymore which is really interesting I thought they would just lock on to us oh, so how many hours do we have left here Oh, did I not put down? Oh, I put it down here. Okay, I forgot to put down the one here. We should have plenty of time for now. Something has happened. Elon Danger. Okay, he's gone. To, they've gone. To, both gone to Elon. Okay, Elon Danger. That's fine. It's just this this fleet here. There are no other. Yeah, we're good here. Just a lot of te a little tedious, but I I'm enjoying what's happening. So we've got one strike fleet coming to Haran here. We've got the other strike fleet coming into Jaffa. Um, if I had some ballistic missiles, I would totally launch them here. I do not. I don't really want to use up any more bombs either. We're refueling quite nicely here. Um, I'm quite happy to leave these guys here until the place turns dangerous, to be honest. So just keep refueling. We're doing okay for money, because I sold all that sh stuff. And these guys should refuel quite nicely off this point here. Ideally, I want to fight them outside the city, I think. If we take out all the strike fleets, I can move around with a lot more impunity. I don't need to worry as much about this strike alarm being online. How much fuel have we got here? Not a lot of fuel. We'll see how it does. Hopefully we've got enough fuel to at least get here. This is fascinating, to be honest. They must need to refuel. They're probably, they'll probably they be repairing now as well, unfortunately. But they'll be here for 18 hours. We've got a radio signal coming in. I really don't care. Oh, Alashir. Yeah, I will meet you at some point. Let's just fast forward a little bit. 
In fact, we'll get these guys to go and repair right now. To go and refuel. Oh, they finished refueling. Don't have quite enough fuel, do they? We'll get them to land here too. So that's them able to get to Jaffa. I want them to get a bit further than that. I kind of just want to top the tanks up, even though it's going to be expensive and it's going to take a bit of time. But I need them in a position where they can actually operate. So that's going to take a bit of time for them to uh, fully fuel. Uh, they've finished fueling amazingly here in Shiloh. I don't really want them to leave this area yet, though. You're okay. Looks like they're stopped in Haran and they're stopped in Jaffa. So we just need to wait for this refueling to complete. That's kind of what we're waiting on right now. I'm a bit low to fast forward because I don't want to miss anything, but it is going to take a bit of time. Would help if the game was on pause though. Well, what do people think about this new strategy that I've just gone completely ham and sort of engaging the strike fleets? I got fed up of running away from them, to be honest. I, I just don't like running away from strike fleets. The big issue, of course, is missiles. I want to watch out for incoming missiles. But I'm trying to fight away from any important ships, so I don't think it's too bad of an issue. I'm going to supersede this attack with a couple of A100s. One sec. Sorry, I heard a crazy noise. It's my cat. <laughs> You've probably been hearing the cat for a couple of seconds. So yeah, we've had a, a couple of recording sessions uh, interrupted by the sleeping dog. And now you've got the howling cat to deal with as well. It's because I'm recording at night time and she always likes to run around a bit once the lights go out. Uh, but that's not a bad thing. Let's just fast forward a little bit. I would like to get this show back on the road. Welcome back. Let's see what's going on. Oh, my dog wants to get involved now. I'm excited to see if we can take out the strike group this way. Really excited to see how this is going to go. I just realized I left the radar jumper running the whole time that they were landed to refuel. That's why you need to be careful about fast forwarding. Okay, they're still here. What I want to do if I can is lead them back this way. Let's drop the speed right down to about 82. Make it really tempting and run them in this direction. What I want them to do is to come... It doesn't look like they're going to leave the city. It looks like we're going to have to take Jaffa. Okay. We're going to have to take Jaffa. How, how is this fleet here looking? 90 degrees. We're still in Haran. No worries up here. We're not dangerous here yet. range on our A100s. The enemy are coming up to being in range. I want to wait until we're a bit closer though. So I'm going to put the uh, tracking radar on. Make sure I can properly run these missiles in. What I don't want to do is I don't want to hit this with an A100. So let's just get it to fly into our fleet and we'll turn the jammer off. We'll get ready to launch two A100s. Actually, I'm going to launch them separately. Nah, screw it. We're going to launch them together. Okay, so we've got real-time radar now. They're on the ground, so we're not picking them up. If I switch to ground radar, I'm not going to pick them up either. Okay. Well, let's launch the missiles and see what we get. They've st got, still got some... Uh, ooh, good hit. There should be... Did I launch one missile? I thought I launched two missiles. But mm, I think I launched two missiles. The second one might not have fired yet. Let's turn the radar off because it's not... Not going to do anything for us now. Okay, that's a lot of damage. I think we can do the rest of us. Collingwood. 
is in range, just. We'll send ahead these three. And we need to slow down what's left, because the Tenaris is faster, which is quite hilarious. We need to get their speed just less than 200, so the Collingwood can overtake. A bit, bit tedious, so I'm just going to fast forward. Incoming missile. Huh. All right. Here's what we do here. We get the Howler in the air, and we'll pull it up this way. It's not going to... A missile, someone launching missiles up here. Tenaris, I want you to pull back. How much fuel do you have? No fuel? No, oh, you got a lot of fuel. Head back up to Shilau. But I'll need you to escort this fleet. I can need you to escort this fleet. You just stay out here. Um, let's get you to loiter. Whoa, who are you? Okay, that's the Howler. You can do that. Anything that comes in this way, I need you to intercept it. Okay, let's get this fight going. Why do we have the game pausing? I don't know. I think it's because I switched, switched fleets. Time to show off laser guided rounds. I wonder if I actually want to send uh, the rooster in first to take care of all the small ships if I can. That's what I'm going to try and do. Small ships, how am I? The amount of incoming Proxfuse fire is just insanity. Yeah, let's retry this. Oh, we'll just send the Collingwood in first. I should have paid attention to the the, the, the the number of enemies that were coming in. Okay. Laser guidance. Damn. I was having so much fun with it. Ships get below me, unfortunately. Got a gladiator, that's actually quite scary. Okay, 
let's see what the audacities can do. Hmm, I don't know if I can actually build enough thrust. I can. Hey, Gladdy, there's so much. Let's get our AP guy out here. Missiles. I thought I had missiles. Where's the bridge? Bridge is top left, I think. Fight and a half. Took a lot of damage. We got a strike group. We probably can't do that again, but I had a hell of a lot of fun. Collingwood is, you know what? Flying Collingwood is, uh, let's take the roll guard, is probably still combat effective. We have a whole ton of stuff to loot here. Uh, we've wiped out the garrison. We've taken a lot of damage. It is a repair town, yeah, so, you know, we can do some repairs. Ooh, I'm, I'm just happy I did that, you know? I'm happy I did that. That's 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 quite enough mess for me this evening. I I think I'll clean this up next time. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I certainly am. I don't even care if we lose, but I'm going to try not to lose. I want to win this. Let's see how audacious we can be. I'll catch you next time.